So this is a different kind of wireless microphone. It's called Kimifun. And yeah, Kimifun did send this to me and they asked me to do a review and I said that's kind of what I do here. By the way, this is usually when I reveal that I've been using the wireless microphone the whole time and this won't be any different because this is what it sounds like right now. But for the price, it doesn't sound that bad and I think that it can be really good for a certain consumer out there, which we'll get to in a second. Hey, it's me, Danny Black, and I like to review cool gear that comes my way, and let's just go ahead and get into this. In the carry bag, you get the transmitter with a lav that is connected already, the receiver with a TRS connection, you get a belt clip for your lav transmitter, two USB charging cables, two windproof sponges, a phone splitter, USB sound adapter, and a quarter inch adapter. And those last three things are actually something that sets this apart from others, which I'll get to in a second, but let's just talk about the design of the microphone. It's definitely a different looking kind of a microphone system. The transmitter's not so bad, you can just clip this on your pocket or your belt, but the receiver, it sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> just look at it on my camera right now. Here's what it looks like on the ZV-1. This is what it looks like on a GoPro. Unless you use the 3.5 millimeter adapter, and this is, it still looks pretty crazy. So maybe if there's a way to adjust it, it might be a little bit better, but it is what it is. All right, this is what it sounds like on the ZV-1. I'm just gonna go back a little way so that you can kind of hear what it sounds like. Hey, buddy. Uh, so kind of a range test. I don't imagine this would go very far. So right now I'm about 30 feet away. And uh, yeah, coming in loud and clear, hopefully. What happens if I go out of the line of sight over here? Check one, two, check two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, check one, two. So this is what it sounds like on a phone. Right now I have it plugged into my iPhone. Kind of like dangles down. There's not really a spot for it. I, I wish that they would have put like some kind of a cold shoe mount. You're just either gonna let it sit and dangle or you have to hold it in your hand. Now for my testing and comparing it to some other microphones, it's not terrible. It's not the best that I've heard. So I would not rate this at any kind of professional broadcast level. I would actually consider this to be a great budget wireless microphone option for people that do online meetings like on Zoom or Skype all the things. But imagine doing a video chat, maybe you're an online instructor. This would be great for being wireless and giving you the flexibility to move around in your studio or your space. And hey, pair this with that Obspot that I just reviewed and that would actually be pretty awesome. But now going back to these three adapters that set this thing apart. With the phone splitter, you can use this wireless mic, but also get access to your headphones. So if you are on some kind of online call with your phone, you can hear the other people talking with the headphones on. With the USB sound adapter, it's great for plugging into your computer and turning it into an input source. And when you're in one of those programs, you can just select the microphone source. With the quarter inch adapter, you can plug this into a sound system. So if you need to speak at an event or a function, this would actually be great for that. It's on AliExpress for over 50% off right now. So that's around 43 US dollars or 60 Australian. I'm in Australia, so that's why I say Australian. This is not a sponsored video. I do not make any money off the affiliates. They said they would send it to me and I said I would do a review on it and I leave it up to you. You can tell by the quality if you like it or not, if you think this fits perfectly for what you're doing. And I just wanted to share this review with you just in case you're looking for something like this. Thanks for watching and I do a lot of product reviews all the time on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. If you want to dive deeper into some exclusive content, some live streams where I play music, uh, check out my memberships. That's always fun. Also, I have a podcast weekly called Tech is Hard. You can click on it right there. It's, it's not popular, but it, it's a fun little weekly thing where we talk about tech and being content creators and all that stuff. So make sure you check it out. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next one.